Stop thinking that because you come from a poor and struggling family, God will understand and bless you. That is all lies. That is all lies. God will only understand with people who do what is required and respect their principles. My name is Jonathan Joybert and you're welcome to this short session. Being poor or having a struggling life and at the same time letting sleep control you, you are more than a disaster. If you're struggling with a career and letting sleep control you, letting television control you, letting social media control you, you are more than a disaster. Do not confuse between sleep and rest. You see, people get to struggle a lot as far as life and business is concerned, career is concerned. This should not really be the case. People should be able to experience the growth they desire. And this doesn't happen through guesswork, through assumptions. This growth comes from the place of commitment and from the place of self-responsibility. All progress, whether physical, mental, spiritual, financial, relationship-wise, is based upon laws. And if anybody who desires to win or succeed in any lane does so because he or she has followed the law or laws pertaining to success in life, whether he or she does it consciously or unconsciously. Until you do what is required, the universal ecosystem, God, will not give you anything tangible. Genesis chapter 8 verse 2, while earth Remaineth seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Therefore, he who practices the laws and the principles that is your seed time, and as long as you give it all your best, there shall be your harvest time, because day and night shall not cease. To, to become an icon, to become a titan, to attain your greatest success in this path of life, you have to discover the governing laws. You have to concentrate on these laws. You have to execute in line with them. Exclusion of everything else, exclusion of distraction, practice laser focus, operate from the place of proactivity and the realm of desired success. I know you seriously have dreams, I do have dreams, but before these dreams become real, before all your life plans become real, before your greatest desires can be fulfilled, before any great thing can be manifested, the laws must be seen, the laws must be processed, the laws must be understood and fully executed with no excuses. You cannot count on others to achieve your goals for you. Your best friend cannot sleep for you. Your mother cannot eat for you. These are all things you must do on your own. It can be beneficial to rely on others for emotional support and encouragement. That is very critical in the journey of life. But just as you have your needs, your friends, your family members have their own needs as well. It is important to hold yourself accountable to achieve your goals and make your life happy. Stop looking for validation. Stop seeking to fit in. Start rising to stand out. You can't achieve success if you haven't done anything. There is no big financial reward just for showing up without really doing something that is significant. You need to put in the time, you need to put in the energy, you need to put in the hard work into building something. After all, the most successful people are all creators. The question I have for you is, what are you creating? What level of value are you creating? What level of expression are you bringing to the table? One of the biggest terrible things in Cameroon is the spirit of entitlement. People feeling that somehow, somewhere, someone or the government is responsible for our lives. Unfortunately, we are in a nation where maybe nobody actually has your back. But the real truth is, and the one lesson that I want to communicate with you is that you are the only person responsible for the quality of life you live. That person is you. 
if you want to be successful, you have to take 100% responsibility for everything that you experience in your life. This includes the level of your achievements. This includes the results you produce. This result, this includes the quality of your relationships, the state of your health, your income, your debts, your feelings. This includes everything as a person. Therefore, the choice is yours. It's either you rise up to take responsibility and actions for the life that you desire or you sit there and you begin to complain. As I always say, if I am to fail, I am going to fail on my terms. If I am to fail at the end of this life, I will fail on my own terms. I will look failure eyeball to eyeball and I will tell you, hey failure, you think that I failed, but I failed in this life on my terms. I failed, I did not let sleep control me. I, I, I was beating sleep every night and I was waking up to burn the midnight candle because I believed in myself. I did not let laziness control my failure. I failed on my terms. I failed knowing that I was working hard day and night. I did not let the wrong people control me. I failed knowing that I did my best to build the right relationships. If I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail on my terms. But the biggest regret is for that person where you will fail knowing that you did not bring in your A game to the table. You failed in business because you did not bring in your best game to the table. You failed in that career because you did not bring in your best game as far as the career is concerned. For you to succeed, you have to be the best that there is and the best that anybody can ever encounter. It is your responsibility to do what is required. And do that without fear. Do not be worried whether you're going to make it or not. Your job, your one job, is to take responsibility and do what is required. And my belief is that this law that has existed be before you and I were born, seed time and harvest time, will definitely manifest. Thank you so much. My name is Javni Jarbert. and see you at the top. Cheers.